Aggies and back, boys! Woo -woo! So we are in Chris's F-250. Uh, I believe you guys call this a truck over here, but uh, I don't know. Anyways, uh, that aside, we are heading to a good friend's place, his shop right now. Uh, someone that knows a lot about USDM uh, S13s and 240SXs and all that kind of stuff. Also someone that is uh, pretty much a brother from another mother because he really understands the true value of God's holy engine, the SR20. So, welcome to today's video. Happy Vlogmas, and let's get into it. Let's just get there, get this thing off, and uh, see what he has to think about this and see if he's got any parts that we can steal. I think just maybe we're in the right spot. <laughs> Love it. Okay, tell me how it was. You're in a big ass truck, left hand drive, trailer, different country. Terrible. Terrible. Was it? I, was, I was like, he's probably freaking out right now. I'm doing like 10 miles under the speed limit the whole way. Because yeah, you never even drive trucks like this, huh? No. No. Plus, if, you guys don't really use trailers much over there, right? More flatbeds? No. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like in Florida, I've driven this thing. This unit, right? Did you see? This unit? <laughs> you look like a Northeast boy. So bad. I love it. This is Northeast Samit. It's fantastic. Yeah. Whenever I'm like driving this thing, I'm like, Trucky Sam! There we go. Yeah. I love it. Does, it, so it. does he look like a Northeast kid? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Can you imagine me rocking up to my event like this? Oh yeah, dude. Fit right in. Yeah. Lock City boy. Yeah. All right. What are we doing today? Um, let's get your opinion on this thing. Yeah, Tell me something. everything that's wrong with it and then I need to try and probably go through all your parts and see if you've got anything I need. Were you looking for a left-hand drive car or...? I mean, personally, I'd like right-hand drive, but left-hand drive's good, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For driving, know. like... I just don't know how you're used to it or not. Oh, I'm definitely not. Like, I go to grab the e-brake, but I'm grabbing the door. I didn't know it was painted. Yeah, I look, the paint's not great. The taggered green? I yeah. Like <laughs> You'll imagine, is the, is the Genesis still that color? I don't know, man. I don't know, Ruddy will tell us soon. Yeah, yeah. Ruddy's favorite wheels, by the way. But dude, Skyline Z32 upgrades got the drum. Um, oh, nice. Did he actually do the e-brake? Yeah, 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 yeah. No one ever wants to. No. Um, the car's straight. I'm not. The paint isn't. Ama I mean, it's filthy, but yeah. Um, it's not. Nah, it's like a Mako job for sure. Offer? I have no idea. I think it is. If it is, you want to sell it? <laughs> I'll sell it. <laughs> that's it. Holy shit! That's so funny. I think it's a real Aero bumper. That would be hilarious. But still, it's a good one. You can tell it's a Mako job when there's like just paint coming off like that from a oh, little. Yeah. This, oh yeah. This was a Scotch Sprite in spring. Yeah, for sure. I, I think I have one of these. Oh, sick! Um, yeah, it's definitely got the original wing. That's so funny. No one ever owns this. Ooh. Oh, I left it open apparently. No, it just doesn't clench. Mm. It, it happens. Was a mail. Oh, okay. <laughs> nope. Okay. Um, was it ever red? No, I went through it all. Dude, this is clean. Of course it was red. Every time their ch color changed, they were red. Which means you'd never escape the red. <laughs> it's like, who buys these things red, though? You did, man. You don't even try. Yeah, I know. It's kind of weird. Like, the door, inside the doors are done, too. It's kind of weird, right? Is the engine bay red? No, it's black. Okay. Yeah, oh, hang on, hang on. Yeah, this right. is the best part. You, you got to look at the engine bay. Duh. Have you seen a, fi a G25 550 low mount yet? No. Ant, you wanted to see this bad, right? The G, uh, G25 bottom mount. That sounds so cool. Pass us that prop up. Oh, you got it. Look at this. I, I, it feels great being around tall, lanky guys yeah, like myself. That's cool. Wow, yeah. it's pretty full stainless housing and everything. Yep. I'm pretty sure the factory manifold's cracked, you know, fourth runner, because there's just exhaust fumes pouring out everywhere, so... Really? Yeah, that's a common thing on uh, SR20 stock I've, manifolds. I've never, I haven't had a stock manifold since. It's, it's what like, happens normally when you upgrade the turbo because of the back pressure. They don't like like all the heat cycles. This is so blue. I know. Blue pulleys. Blue I know, it's killing me, man. You know what we need? Those blue grounding kits from Japan. No! Oh, the oh, things yeah. that give you like 50 horsepower oh, upgrade. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look, valve cover matches the body. Well, it does. I only just noticed that. <laughs> I mean, it's got, it's got all the right parts. Yeah, it uh, does. That's good. Like manly rods and pistons and all that stuff. It's got a full radium fuel kit. And they ran out of money on the manifold. It's so weird. Yeah, like, like, like Link. We spend three Gs on a turbo and then, oops, I'm stock manifold. That's, what, it, that's yeah. what I feel like. Like the credit card hit the credit card limit. Well, you know what it is? You also get those guys that are like, the stock manifold doesn't limit you until you hit like four or something. You know, you get that like. That's this. 
Yeah. Not that. Exactly. <laughs> I know, but you know how information goes. Yeah. But this is nice, dude. The stock intake with yeah. the C25, this thing is going to come in so hard. It already does, and it has an exhaust leak. It's actually insane. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. I can't wait to get like a nice tubular manifold on so this. What are we doing? We're going to, are we going to check up on the tune or? I like, think we should because like the cold start is just junk, yeah, but I mean, we can't do much with the exhaust leaks. Leaky. Yeah, we can always yeah. retune it. Are oh, you bringing it to Florida? Maybe. Yeah, okay. maybe. maybe. We'll see. The, it just, the transit thing is a little hard. It's a yeah. Long time, so if we can, then we can always try and do Adam's Dino, but. Um, I'll make something work. I love that he painted over the bin like chassis plate. That's the I know a guy. That's the I know. Yeah. I know a guy. I know a guy. But like it's just got all the good parts. Yeah, like you he, know, he painted. Cut your he, oh, he painted it with the with the booster and everything in. Most likely. That's so funny. Yeah. Yeah, he like half gave a shit. What What is actually amazing is like you look under this thing, rails, everything, not a spot of rust. There's like tiny little places, it, but it looks like it would be rusty. I know, <laughs> but it's not. It's actually solid. No, it's good. I mean, you're paying for the hardware. You know, yeah. I mean? you're gonna change the look look up anyway, so who cares? So. That's right. All right. Well, um, let's get this thing off the trailer, and we'll pick it up from there. Yeah. Oh, by the way, we're visiting Jimmy. In case you didn't notice, left hand drive, Sam it. Just keep the wheel straight and just yeah. don't panic. Sometimes I just want to send it and close my eyes. Yeah, that's usually my technique. Of course, we got this man on RPF once. What's my lip? You don't even like that thing. You don't even like that thing. You're good. There we go. There we go. Everyone in the comments, get your boy off these RPF ones. They're not bad, but you could do better. I just feel like it's not his style. Yeah, all I hear is G-Series and I love it. It did, let me show you. He goes, let me show you the diff. What is that, what is he doing? It won't do anything. Oh, it's not even chirping? Oh, what is, what is, what is happening? I don't know, man. I, maybe map sensor related, hey. Sounds like it. Have you plugged into it yet? Nah, I have no USB cable. Oh, let's plug into it. All right, let's do that. We did not make it very far. We literally just died in the front of Jimmy's shop. <laughs> You've really brought some rodneck here. <laughs> Make sure we're not in gear. Come on. Come on, girl. There we go. It's kind of coming back. Let's see. What are we looking at? What cams are in this thing? Uh, 264s. Really? That's what it says. Oh, look at it go to the moon now. Is it just going up and up and up? Oh, there it goes. What's the AFR is like on your full uh, throttle? Have you like gotten on it yet? Yeah, I got it on it. It just sits at like 11. It's not too bad. It's a little rich, but... You can really feel that this thing has no ignition timing on the 91, 93 tune for sure. Thing feels dog slow. I don't know but that could also be because I'm used to VCT. That, yeah. That's probably a big factor, right? This place, amazing. So good. Dreams. Imagine having a building like this in Japan would be so sick. Ah, oh, need to bring this guy a banner. So once we were able to plug into the ECU, it was very clear that uh, the map wasn't the greatest. So there was just a bunch of fuel in there. It was really struggling. Um, we took out some fuel and the thing's already idling and way more responsive than it was before. So we're going to throw it on the dyno and do what we can. It's obviously got an exhaust leak and stuff like that, but we're going to tidy up the map and do things properly the way that the E85 and stuff was done. Um, it's just a scaler. There's no like dual maps blended. So while well, you can get away with that on Helltech with Link, you really need to have two separate maps uh, that blend and kind of work together when it, when it detects E85. There she goes. One more, a little bit more. There we go. Hey Sammy, can you hit that red button? I can hit the red button. Yeah. All right, Jimmy, what are we doing? All right, so we're gonna do our first pull. So we, we kind of are starting from scratch in a lot of aspects, um, but we're gonna do our first pull on gate, which I don't know what the gate is. I'm assuming it's probably like 12 PSI, 10 PSI. Well, we'll find out. We'll find out. So we have some fail safe set up. So if, if it goes in any type of realm that's not safe, it'll stop it or we'll, we'll lift. We'll check it out, so. Yeah. Uh, let's see how she does. All right, baseline time. So we did find a few interesting things as well. There's no IAT sensor on this, so we're gonna be adding one of those later and stuff as well, just so we can dial things in a lot. It's 
It's kind of mind-boggling to me that there was no IAT sensor put in this with the Link ECU, but they have a fuel pressure sensor, which I, I don't I don't get why they do that. But anyways, let's see how we go. Thing sounds so happy. Fifty something? Do you see how bad it was smoking? Yeah. I lifted. So, it made 13, 13 pounds boost. So I mean it makes sense. Yeah. Power wise. I mean it's a it's a very it's got the power bearing I think we were expecting. Yeah. Was, was it smoking as bad as I think it was? Oh there's just a lot of water and stuff here. Oh, was it? Yeah, there's a lot of water here. Oh, it's probably just has so much idle time on it. Yeah. When you idle them for so long, they build up condensation in the exhaust. Yeah. And then it blows it off. Yeah. That's I, probably I what it was. What color it was. I just saw a bunch of smoke. It dissipated really, really quick. Okay. Yeah, I think it was mainly steam. Okay. Fuck it. <laughs> it's all right, Jimmy. If we if we blow another SR on this uh, dyno, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I haven't done one yet, so. I mean, I'll, I'll be sad, but. Chris hasn't driven this yet, so I think we're good. Yeah, but, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely it's gonna make power, that's for sure. Dude, I can't believe off the rip we already are at 350 uh, and we only revved it to like what 60 67. 67? Yeah, it, I mean it's not gonna it probably won't climb much more. But it will give you that wheel speed that you want. I feel I feel like the RPM is definitely more for the wheel speed after than the power after the Yeah. Um it made most of the boost by four rent. By when? By four four thousand. Four thousand. Yeah. That's not too bad, That's eh? Not too bad. Yeah, you gotta remember um, non VTC, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. It's okay. It's a bit depressing, but. Yeah, you're so used to the VTC. So, oh, yeah, it kicks in so much harder. But this does have a little exhaust leak too. So when we get that manifold, that'll also tidy things up and give us a lot more mid-range torque and low-end torque. For sure. You get a good tubular manifold on these, and it really wakes them up and brings it spool it like spools in a lot earlier. But that's pretty good. I mean, that's where we want to be on pump gas. Yeah. So we'll leave it on gate for pump gas, which is keeps things simpler. Yeah. Uh, we'll just get the tune where it should be. It'll probably make a little more power, and we'll be happy right there. Yeah. Once you want to go ahead. Real happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you're also stock trans and stuff. Yeah, stock trans. I don't want to go like above 420, you know? Not for the meme, but just, just because like it's that's when number. we're in it's sketch territory yeah. with drivetrain on these. And I don't want to do a CD swap on this, that's for sure. The only thing I'd consider is maybe like a Nismo or a HBI six-speed, because those things are just so nice. So expensive. They're not that expensive. It's six grand. What? Yeah. No, they're three. Get me one for a third. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm excited. Excited. SR20 things. Woo! Some more changes. Time for round two. Okay, dude, that was insane out the back. Was it a big flame? Huge one. Yeah, the fuel cut's aggressive right now. We gotta, we gotta fix You're gonna fix that real fast. That's how you blow a rocker up. <laughs> what the hell was I that? I think we lost uh, cam sync. For uh, a yeah. That's. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 You think the wheel's in there? I doubt it. You think it's stock wheel? That's gotta be wheel. stock wheel. Do you have any uh, 24 ones? There's not, it's not a 0% chance that I... <laughs> okay, so okay. So we could look. All right. I might. I might. Um, that's, yeah, it definitely lost camp sync. That's why it was probably so aggressive. That makes sense. Why, yeah. yeah. The biggest issue with aftermarket ECUs with this setup and making any kind of power is the stock cam angle sensor. So there's a, the pickup wheel in it is like this 300 and something. I think it's 360. 360, slots. yeah. There's like very, like very small slots and 
There's a little lasers trying to the, shine light the, through them. The, the, and the modern technology sees the sloppiness in the old technology when there's so many slots and so it gets pissed off and just drops cam sync. So you can put a small wheel into it so there's less pickup so the ECU's not as like, whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's go look. Let's, let's go, go have a look. Let's see. If we can find a wheel, we can uh, have this thing ripping. No, we can't rev it out any more than that, which is really frustrating because I want Jimmy to rev his first SR out to 8200. He's so scared of it. <laughs> so this is the OEM wheel and it's really hard to see, but let's put these side by side with this guy here, which is 24 to one, I believe. So imagine this thing spinning to 7,000 RPM, right? There's no way. Like I can barely see with my human eyes, the little like gap, like yeah. the lines. That's what I'm saying. So the ECU sees like a hiccup and it's like, yo, chill. Yeah. Cuts all ignition. Yeah. Feels weird, feels gross. Fucked everything up. So we're going to this boy. Yeah, so yeah. Makes it easier to keep up. Mm. We gotta, you know, redo. Oh, we gotta redo timing stuff too, yeah. We gotta tell the ECU where Top Dead Center is and all that kind of stuff. Good times, good times. Good times. Hey, Ant. How you doing, buddy? Okay. A little hot. A little hot? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Smoking. Wow, Sammy, you really like blue, buddy. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Big blue guy. Big pink guy. I just wanna just have a moment of silence for the Z32 because we stole the trigger wheel from it. This thing just doesn't get the love it deserves, you know, but now mine can live and live happy at 8,500 RPM. Let's go. They know what's going on, right? Yeah, they're good. It and we just, it's, not, it's not like we're going to make any more power this time. We just hope it doesn't break up. Yeah. So. All right, I'm going to stand in the back in case you get a plane. I just unplugged his dyno. <laughs> no, I just accidentally, oh. dude, my foot caught it walking back. I'm sorry, you Jimmy. It. Oh, <laughs> man, that yeah. No. <laughs> Making sure I'm not unplugging that now. gonna have a problem now. Where did we just hit? I grabbed it higher for you. 6100? So 359. Yeah, we lost power on there. Yeah. I wonder if the previous ignition that we We lost some power. You know, we might have just made less boost. That's true as well, yeah. Oh, the fan's not on, I think. Yeah, we should probably make that, put that back on. We turned that off. That's probably why. Yeah. All right, what are we doing now, Jimmy? You're having me rev this thing to eight grand. I'm having him rev it to eight grand. You saw the rev limit. So I saw the rev limit. Yep, I'm that's happy with 8,200. Okay. Yep. Okay. That's seriously, we do this all the time in Japan. Don't be scared. It's also got BC like titanium springs yeah, and retainers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's so still that, it's still shipped. That's all. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's all right. It's fine, it'll be we'll fine. See, I'm, I'm curious to see what it does with the stock manifold. Yeah, yeah, keep an eye on Boost Creek for sure. Let's we'll see what we do. But, um,. We should be alright. I cannot wait to change that manifold. Mmm. And all those blue pulleys? Yeah. Like yeah, all the blue stuff. Did you forget the e-brake was on? The dyno brake was on. What the fuck? Did you just- don't, don't break it up! No! <laughs> what? Dude, it's like- Oh. oh my god, Sam it. It's all like that's the glue. Yeah, now it's stuck, isn't it? That was a bad idea. Yeah. Do I do any tinters in the Connecticut region that want to fix my windows? Holler at me. That sucks. Thanks for that, by the way. I was just starting the process that needed to happen. That trigger wheel's free. <laughs> I don't know where to go. Engine or rear? Rear, probably. I want to hear the 8,000 RPM. Don't be scared. He's nervous.
<laughs> He's so nervous. They don't hate it. They were meant for it. It, it took it a lot, but I thought it would. Yeah. So you, you're. This is this is gonna be like exhaust flow stuff here. You can see like we're definitely losing it here. Definitely but flowing. this in drifting, such a big deal. Dude, that's so much wheel speed. So yeah. Okay, let's pull off the. There we go. First yeah. Run in that run. Yeah. Huge difference. Wow. That. I mean, look how much bigger the map is. Yeah. Yeah. You so gain so much you here. Sit in second gear for so long. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why, like, it's so important. Yeah, because stop gearing kind of. It's pretty long. I would say it's pretty long. Yeah. That's cool. Cool. All right. Well, I, I want to try one more thing and see how it responds to it. And if not, then we're good to go. Yeah. If this was a Yashio factory tune, it'd be 8,500, just so you know. Psycho. <laughs> they don't call him the god of SRs for no reason. He breaks some, them and some fixes lessons. them. I need some lessons, that's for sure. He's a rad dude. You'll appreciate it. Dude. Oh, I'm so excited. 8,000 RPM like a champ. <laughs> You're still not... Good about it. <laughs> you don't feel good about it? I feel good about it. <laughs> <laughs> One more pull and pizza, but you sure you don't want to make it 85? Stop. <laughs> that's it. Let's go. This thing sounds so healthy, so good. Oh, the G Series Turbo gets me every time. Every time. I'm like, I'm like when's it gonna stop, dude? <laughs> it kept going. Hey, look, dude. Honestly, loves it. Super healthy motor right now. Super yeah. Super healthy. Like, even cold start, like, it sounds great. Like, it's it's, it's a good motor. It's a really I'm really stoked. Like, the pretty much, I didn't care about the body, but the body's in really good condition for this car. But the fact that the motor is built, has the G Series on there with the link, that's what sold it for me. It is so good. It is so good. Yeah. Look at this curve, guys. Mmm. It's stoked. It's saucy. What did we just make? 380. <laughs> yeah. Damn. I mean, look, it's very like. 93 at 380. That's like so good. Holds, like, I couldn't be happier. It's great. Way. So check it out. It's very pretty. It's very yeah. Pretty. It's not like the smoothing has turned up a bunch anyway. It's like, it's nice. That's where it's at. That's so good. Huh. Oh. About the pump gas? No. Make sure you put good gas in Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. No Cumbies gas. No. Okay. Yeah. What, what do you recommend over here? Shell? Just don't get Cumbies. <laughs> don't get Cumberland? Yeah, don't get Cumberland. All right, it's all right. It's too convenient, but it's, it's done us real dirty, so. Okay, all right. There you go. Well, that's where we're at. I wasn't expecting to do dyno stuff today, but um, yeah, that happened. This will let you enjoy it for a little while until you swap everything over. Yeah. We're good to go. We're going to probably eat. Um, Jimmy got some pizza, and then uh, we're going to go parts hunting. Yeah. Oh, for Mr. Reddy. Well, also for myself. We gotta get some stuff off. Uh, Ooh, yes. Okay, we'll get Jimmy. you right. We'll get you right. Yeah. There's some things in here that we need to spruce up. What kind of hot mess is this? No, they ran stuff crazy for the boys, though. Woo! Yeah, dig in. Dude, I've only eaten like Papa John's pizza in America. Is this about to be good? Oh, this is about to be good. I'm, I'm guessing. I haven't had it from this particular place, but it looks really good. Papa Damn. John's definitely ain't it. Oh, VCT <laughs> solenoid. I like that. Yeah. All right, well, when in, uh, when in America, I guess. Bone apple teeth. <laughs> uh, I just got a new package, and we have Salmon's new neck tat. Right. Someone has to have this Someone tattoo. has to have that it. That would Someone be crazy. Does. Someone named Mad tat. Dog or something. Mad Dog. Mad That's Dog so Bogan. <laughs> <laughs> On Instagram. <laughs> what did you actually buy, though? I'm curious now. What uh, do you need that's Australian made in the shop? Uh, S15 parts. A lot of S15 parts are made in Australia. Yeah, that makes sense. Crazy. Crazy. But it's a 200 SX there, right? Not a no. Sylvia. Oh, yeah, 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 it is, yeah. Yeah. You're right. Hmm. Hmm. Do you know about the S13 200 SXs from the UK? Talk to me. So I have a 180 SX in Australia, right? Nice. It is literally a 180 SX, but it was privately imported from the UK, and the windows, the glass, the quarter things, mm -hmm. literally say 200 SX. In them. Really? That's kind of hot. 
never heard it's of it. It's really cool. It's kind of rad. Let me get that glass. No, not having it. Oh, the bumper and everything, like yeah. the, the lights has say a weird, 200 SX. That's pretty gangster. For 180. Yeah. Interesting. So trippy. Send it over. Super cool how they did that for like different countries, hey. This is weird. Very. It was so well. Because we all want this rare stuff from all the places. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's it. That's how they go. So what's the deal here, buddy? We're done. What did we make? 380? 380. 380 pump gas. Stoke. 93. Yep, happy. Happy as. Wastegate too. We didn't up the boost whatsoever. That's it, gate. And we were up to 8200 RPM. Still freaked out about it. Yeah, I bet you are. And now we're going to go putt shopping through all of your uh, ported putts. And hopefully get some goodies, get a bit of fruit, a bit of JDM fruit. And then um, head back to see what Ruddy's up to. He goes, yeah, yeah, you are. <laughs> he goes, just kidding. He taught us how to properly use Vegemite. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So look out for another video from these guys. Australians out there, please send them more Vegemite. Oh, yeah. boy. Oh, boy. What are you up to now? Nothing to see here, boys. Wash your damn car, right? You just bought this thing. The it's a drift car. No one first thing you're supposed to do when you buy a car, Sam, is you wash it. And you take the dude's stickers off. First tip. That's true. Stickers. I do want to take some stickers off. You have the guy's stickers on here? Yeah, they're still on there. I haven't, I haven't done anything. You're such a poser. <laughs> it's a cool sticker, but you can't rock it because it's not you. No, that's, that's so cringe, that sticker. Like like you it. like it? Oh, you can have it. I don't want it. You don't want it? What about my tint you, that you ripped off? Was that part of it? Uh, well, funny thing is, the whole thing stayed on there. So. <laughs> oh, you only have one sticker. That's not too bad. No, no, no. There's a sticker on the, the side swipe that he did, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. I ain't touching that. That's kind of covering the big ding here. Okay, maybe I will. Maybe we'll peel this off. I'm just scared no, if I peel it. Suck. Yeah, the paint's coming off this with it. paint's coming off with it for sure. It's already started coming off there, but... There I'll, I'll deal with that. I'll take a razor blade to that. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. Look at the brake dust on the RPF ones, though. Okay, so we went we went shopping. We did go a little bit shopping through his stuff. Um, I forgot to ask you guys. He got me a new one of these. Big shout out. Yeah, it doesn't look so... Um um, I don't know. Lame without it. I don't know. It looked really gross. Other thing is... Um, Two-way diff acquired, so thank you, sir. I'm a, I'm, I hate welded diffs with yeah. a passion. Um, so yeah, I will not drift anything unless it's got a two-way in it. That's just my personal preference. But some people like welded, some people like 1.5, some people drift with one ways, which blows my mind. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, just yeah. different feel, and I like the two-way feeling. So we got a two-way diff going in there. I think it's an OS Geiken one or Geeken, however you want to pronounce it. It's like yeah, Bride and Brid. I'm not the person to add. You're not the person to add. Oh, okay. Um, that's pretty much it. I don't know. Is there? Oh, uh, S14 lower arms. I need those real bad. They're somewhere. They're somewhere. We're going to find them. But, uh, oh man, the transmission graveyard over there. That's got me excited because I know that I'm probably going to blow a trans in this. So. Oh, they are all blown? No, no, no. I think there's only like one blown trans in there. Oh, that's so exciting. So I can blow my transmission. No, no, so one, two, three, thing. four, five. Here's the thing. Everyone thinks, oh, Jimmy has all these trans. Like, that's great. Now I know where to get one. No, no, no. No, that's my stash. Because if you need one, uh, they suck. And his most six speed sounds good right about now, then. I'll trade you. I would trade Six you. of those for. <laughs> He's four, actually four. 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 <laughs> all right, we're going to find some parts. We're going to load this up. And then uh, we're going to head back to the shop. Oh, man, these are crusty. Sadly. Oh, if they're crusty, that's fine. Oof. <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're fine. Oof. Wait, those aren't the... These are... No, those are those are fast 14. These are 13. Yes. These aren't crusty. Sounds dope. <laughs> E-brake works. The G series just sounds crazy. Oh, oh, oh! He's acting a fool. It sounds great. It sounds so good. The G series does amazing things. How's it feel? So good. Smooth. So much different. Good. Yeah. Good, good, good. It's not bucking. It's not doing anything. Well done. It's not drowning too. It was drowning in fuel before. Oh yeah, so. real bad. I'm excited. Just get that diff in there and you're ready to party. Yep. Oh, and knuckles and a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, but the diff is like the main thing. The minimalist. Yeah, minimalist. And then you can, you know, do your thing. We can mess around with everything else later. Yes, sir. Let's go. Thank you, Jimmy. Yes, sir. What is going on in here? What up, dude? What is going on? What are you... What? What's going on? Okay, well, you guys are going to have to check out what's going on with got this. rod knock, so I'm already trying to get a new engine in it. I didn't get rod knock today. You Too soon? <laughs> what the heck? 
<laughs> All right, guys, you're gonna have to see what's going on with Chris's 240. Dude, I'm hyped. We're doing 240 things together. That's it. In the USA. Last time we did Miata things together in the USA. Now we're doing 240 things in the USA. That's awesome. Never thought I'd see the day. Well, I'm trying to get mine back together because you just got a 240 and then I just broke mine, so I'm like, dang, I need an engine. So we're doing the weirdest, quickest engine swap. I can. All right, well, don't give away that because we want people to go check out his video tomorrow. That's gonna be awesome. Make sure you check that out. But for now, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Such a rad time hanging out with Jimmy. We got a bunch of fruit for the car, which you'll see in the next video. But yeah, I just, I can't say on camera, like, or to you guys, just how much I appreciate Jimmy. He is a solid dude and uh, yeah, letting me uh, take up his time on the dyno and diagnose some things on that thing and just get his advice and help with it as well because I don't know these USDM chassis that well. So it was just really, really good. Anyways, thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing, and I'll see you all in the next one. Don't forget, ugly Christmas sweaters, summit.net, link in the description. Get yourself one, you can still get it before Christmas, before all your events and stuff, three day shipping. Don't miss out. Peace, Jamata.